So today I thought I'd share with you a great little country lick that I've been playing around with myself recently. It's a really nice slidey idea. Got a couple of pedal steel style bends in there as well. I think it's a lot of fun to play. So let me show you how the actual lick goes to start with. It's something like this. One more time. And uh, if I just bring the camera a bit closer, I'll show you how it's played. So what's going on here? We're in the key of A and this lick is designed to fit over an A major chord. And most of the notes from the lick are taken from the, the chord tones in that A chord. So A, C sharp and E. Um, also throwing in some notes taken from the A major pentatonic scale, I, I think. Uh, the first bit of the lick goes like this. Now we're starting with this A note here at the 7th fret on the 4th string, then I'm going to play the 7th fret on the 5th string, back to the 7th fret on the 4th string. Playing all of that with my index finger, I'm just kind of rolling it over between those notes just to, to keep the separation between them. You don't want the notes to be ringing together like that. Uh, then I'm going to slide from the 9th fret to the 11th fret on the 4th string. Play the 9th fret on the 3rd string, 10th fret on the 2nd string, back to the 9th fret on the 3rd string. And you can see I'm sliding up into this um, A triad shape, A, A chord shape. And, uh, something I've spoken about in one of my previous videos, I think, uh, the importance of trying to relate notes you're playing in licks to the underlying chord tones and, and chord shapes. I always find that is a really helpful concept when it comes to understanding licks and being able to, to use them in your own playing. So this is a good illustration of that. You can see how um, I'm sliding up into that A chord shape. It's like a C, a C bar chord form of, of, of the A chord. Um, I'm just taking notes from that uh, and using them in the lick. So that's the first bar of the lick, all played with um, even eighth notes. Then we've got the first of our uh, little pedal steel bend ideas. So I'm bending at the 12th fret on the second string, bending with my third finger, and I'm bending that note up uh, a whole step. Um, or, or a tone. So I'm bending from a, a B to a C sharp. And then I'm holding the bend and I'm playing the note at the 10th fret on the top string. And then I'm re-picking the bent note and releasing it. That's how you get that nice pedal steel type of sound. So bend, pick this top note on the top string and then release the bend. Um, actually quite a difficult thing to do if you've not played this kind of lick before. It takes quite a lot of strength and control to be able to do it well. You want to really make sure that that bend is, is in tune. Um, <laughs> I don't always get it right myself, but you want to really listen out that it's going from B up to C sharp. Uh, something you just get a feel for um, after a while. So that, that's our first bend. We bend, top note, um, and then re-pick the bent note and release it again. And I'm playing the 10th fret on the 2nd string. Then we go straight into a 2nd bend, um, which is a bend at the 14th fret on the 2nd string, bending that up a semitone this time, so just a 1 fret bend. And then I'm, it's exactly the same idea. I'm playing the note on the top string, this time at the 12th fret. Then I'm re-picking the bent note and releasing it. A bit, bit sharp that time, so just be careful you don't bend the note too far. Is that right? Um, so I'm doing the second bend, and I'm pulling off out of that bend to the note of the 12th fret. Then, last bit of the lick, I'm going to play the 14th fret. Ah, uh, uh, so I've just got to play it to myself just to remember how this bit goes. Um, 
that's it. So we've, we've come out of the second pedal steel bend. Pull off. Playing the 14th fret on the third string. Then we've got a nice little leap up to the 16th fret on the top string. Then I'm sliding with my index finger from 12 to 14 on the second string. And I'm ending up with this high A note at the 17th fret on the top string. So I think this is my favorite bit of the lick actually. There's some nice wide sort of intervals in this last, last section of the lick. So just, just slowly that last bit from the last bend. Pull off, 14th fret, big interval jump. First finger slide, and then the final note. So uh, if I just play the, the second half of the lick in, in time for you and you'll, you'll be able to see how it fits together, we've got. Against all in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. And then I suppose I'll just play the entire lick for you to piece the whole thing together. So just slowly to start with. There you go. Um, just a word about the right hand as well, because I think that's quite important with this lick. Um, I'm playing it in kind of true country style. I'm using a combination of pick and uh, fingers to play some of the, the high notes. Uh, but you can play it all with pick notes if you would prefer to. But um, uh, the way I'm picking it is something like this. So I think that's all with the pick. Down, up, down, up, slide, down, up, down. You could play that note on the B string with your the the, uh, the middle finger of your right hand or your picking hand if you want to. Then I'm picking the bend and then that note on the top string is the one I'm going to play with my finger. And then again the same thing with this bend. So bend and then plucking the top string with my finger. And then I think I'm picking the, the remainder of the notes in the lick. So down, up, down, slide, probably ending on an, an upstroke there. So there you go, that's how I do it. It's not the only way that you could pick this lick, so you might want to just have, a, have an experiment and see what feels most comfortable to you. So that's the lick, do with it what you will. I suggest trying to implement it in your own playing style in some way. So maybe next time you take a solo, you could try and get this idea in there somewhere. You can either learn the lick note for note exactly as I play it, or you could just take some of the ideas and concepts behind the lick and uh, come up with something that's uh, original. Uh, but whatever you do with it, have fun, and I hope to see you for some more of this kind of thing very soon. Bye-bye.